like to call to order the Westman Village Board Meeting of October the 5th, 2023 to order at 6 o'clock p.m. and ask Clerk Simsky for a roll call, please. Mayor Gunther? Here. The clerk's here. Trustee Barker is absent. Trustee Brady? Here. Trustee Guzzo is absent. Trustee Little? Here. Trustee Nero? Here. Trustee Simonov? Here. Manager May? Here. And Assistant Manager Parker? Here. Would everybody please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You know, I'd like to welcome everyone tonight. Uh, the first item is open forum. Uh, again, no one has requested this is the opportunity to address the board on anything that's not on the agenda. So I will close open forum and move on to reports. I have um, the Village of Westmont will be participating in a Taiwanese National Day event in downtown Chicago tomorrow night on October the 6th. Uh, Larry Forsberg, myself, and Tom Mulhern will be representing us. This is an annual event. We want to show support to our local Taiwanese um, community. And last Sunday, we had an opportunity to enjoy um, a dinner a fundraiser at uh, the Cultural Center on 63rd nice. and um, with about 10 different courses of food. At, uh, at least and Tom was eating, so that's the good thing. Um, and I turn to Clerk Simsky for her information. Okay. Um, village offices will be closed October 9th. And we had a meeting last <coughs> this week that was well attended by our village department and community agencies and organizations. Each group talked about their upcoming events. Information regarding all events will be posted on the village website so everybody can see that. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Trustee Little, our Administration and Finance Committee. Thank you, Mayor. We had our Administration Finance Committee meeting here at 4.30 this afternoon. The only topic on the agenda was the discussion of the water rate study that is underway. We discussed the process for the study and how we will see concerns and suggestions for our residents. There will be a lot more to share with everyone as the process progresses. There was additional discussion under reports regarding the employment compensation plan, which is also in the works. Um, hopefully we'll have an answer, a little bit more on details on that one at a later date as well. The Wicked West Fest activities and events are already scheduled all month long in October for participation from the library, the Park District, Westmont Special Events, and the Chamber of Commerce. Several downtown events will occur on October 21st, including the Trick or Treat Trail, the costume contest, the great pumpkin grand prize game, and a whole lot more. Remember to vote for your favorite scarecrows in downtown Westmont through October 31st. See the village website for all the program details. And believe it or not, holidays will be here before we know it. A full schedule of events for Westmont's end of year festival will be posted soon. Mark your calendars now for the holidays parade, which will be the first Saturday in December, which is December 2nd. At five o'clock, the parade route will start at Cass and Naperville Road, head south on Cass, cross the tracks as usual, and then head west on Quincy. At the end of the parade, there'll be a tree lighting ceremony followed by pictures with Santa in the train station. And that's all I have, Mayor, thank you. Well, thank you. Trustee Nero, Public Works Committee. Thank you, Mayor. Our next Public Works Committee meeting is December 28th, 4.30, right here at Village Hall. And just one quick update on free leaf pickup from November 6th through December 1st. It's just a part of our normal contract between waste management and the village. There'll be free leaf collection November 6th and ending on Friday, I'm sorry, from November 6th and ending on Friday, December 1st. Residents will be allowed to put out unlimited craft paper bags of leaves, no extra charge uh, alongside their garbage on the regularly scheduled pickup day. Please do not rake your leaves into the street so we can ensure proper drainage and keep a safe driving surface. And that's all I have, sir. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Trustee Simonovich, Police Public Safety. Thank you. Our next Police Public Safety Committee meeting will be on October 19th at 4.30 p.m. 
There is a paper shred fundraiser for Special Olympics scheduled for October 21st at the police and fire facility from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. There's also a drug take back event on October 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the police department as well as at Mariano's. Thank you. Thank you. Trustee Brady, Community Development. Thank you, Mayor. The uh, next Community Development Committee meeting will be held on November 2nd on Thursday at the Builders Hall. The next Planning and Zoning Commission meeting is scheduled for October 11th, Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. And under Trustee Johannick, um, Guzzo is Fire Public Safety. I'm going to call up Fire Chief to um, give us the information. Big, exciting weekend coming next week. Yes, thank you, Mayor. So the next Fire Public Safety Committee meeting is Thursday, December 14th, 4.30, right here at Village Hall. Silent Parade. The 28th annual Silent Parade will be held on Friday, October 13th, starting at 7 p.m. This ends Fire Prevention Week. I encourage all residents to come out and honor those fallen firefighters or civilians who've perished in the line of fire. Uh, you can line up anywhere on Chicago Avenue through Naperville Road, and it starts in Hinsdale at 7. It'll come through Westmont about 7.15. And lastly, the Fire Department's 100th anniversary open house is the next day on Saturday, October 14th at Johannic Fire Station, located at 6015 South Cass from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, this is a big thing for the Fire Department to... Uh, to host our 100th anniversary. We'll have free meals for lunch for everyone that attends, and we're expecting a large crowd to show off the fire department. Thank you, Mayor. Chief. Yes, sir. I've, I've had several questions. Uh, we celebrated our 100th village two years ago, and you're celebrating two years later. What happened in those two years? Two years? All, all volunteer non-village? They were uh, stealing fire trucks between before it was truly formed as a fire department. Okay. All volunteers before the fire. All volunteers. For those first two. North and south side of the track, stealing the fire truck to see who could get there first. <laughs> so a lot of history on that day will be shared Good. with the public Good. on October 14th. Thank you. Thank Mary. you. And um, Trustee Barker is out of town in his report, Environmental Improvement Committee and Westmont First. I'm going to ask Larry McIntyre, who's our staff rep, to uh, give his report. Thank you, Mayor. Quite a few items, but we'll try to get through them quickly. The Environmental Improvement Committee is a group of volunteers that works very hard throughout the year, and this is some of the events that they are working on currently. Uh, we've been doing the Dark Sky Grant program for the past several months, and we're in the midst of reviewing the applications. And if I had to guess, within the next uh, couple of weeks, we'll be um, awarding uh, some of those grants, uh, definitely approving those. But uh, one of our volunteers, Krista Stanulis, is assisting with that effort. And like I said, within a few two, within a few weeks, we'll have that the answers for all of that. Um, this upcoming year for uh, Wicked West Fest, uh, the downtown trick or treat trail and events, we've been doing the pumpkin smash for many years, in which we've uh, thrown pumpkins out of a bucket truck at a target below. We will not be doing that this year. Um, the EIC is instead will be doing something that they're referring to as the pumpkin grand prize game in which uh, it's going to allow a lot more people to participate and the kids will go up and um, participate in a little game and then be able to get activities but all of that is in an effort to promote pumpkin composting which will be highly publicizing that and then that's the next item here uh, pumpkin composting here in Westmont will be on the Saturday after Halloween that's gonna be November 4th 9 a.m. to noon at the library you just bring your pumpkin uh, to the library and as long as it's debris free of uh, free of debris uh, decorations and such then that can be uh, properly composted and we'll have volunteers that day to collect those um, two other items uh, we're currently working with a, a local scout troop on an Eagle Scout project, and if I had to guess, once again, within the next two weeks, a marketing campaign is going to kick off that uh, uh, this young student put together, and it's basically about the do's and don'ts of recycling and trying to remind people uh, what they should do in that regard. And then the final item, uh, a couple weeks ago, we had our final Electronic Some More Recycling event uh, here in the community uh, for this year, and we had a record turnout, uh, 432 total vehicles. Uh, that eclipsed the previous record by 82 vehicles. And uh, there's a long list there of all the items that we collected, but quite a few. And as you can see, it's a, a very popular event, not only with our residents, but people from throughout DuPage County can participate in that. And that's all I have. Well, thank you. Okay. 
Uh, we'll move on the agenda items to be removed from the consent agenda. I have one item. I'd like the arts. Arts DuPage resolution. Uh, uh, yes, to be removed and read separately. Anybody else have an item? Seeing none, I'd ask Manager May to please read. The consent agenda this evening. First is Village Board Minutes. Board to consider approving the minutes of the Village Board meeting held September 21, 2023. Next is Executive Session Minutes. Board to consider a motion to accept and approve and release the following Executive Session Minutes uh, with the exceptions as noted. And there's a short list there. Well, I'll just read it. October 13, 2016, January 5, 2017, July 28, 2022, March 23rd, 2023, except paragraph number two, and then April 6, 2023. The Illinois Open Meetings Act requires that the Village Board periodically review to accept, approve, and or release executive session minutes in whole or in part. Next on the consent agenda is finance ordinance number 12 in the amount of $1,340,248.37. We have two purchase orders. First one for Premiera Engineers, $96,500. This is the extension of the engineering services contract, uh, the annual contract, which will be July of 2023 through July of 2024. Next purchase order, Compass Minerals America, $62,648, and this is for the road salt, the, the, the bulk purchase from the DuPage County uh, contract. And those two purchase orders together with finance ordinance number 12 is $1,499,396.37. We do have other proclamations on the consent agenda. Uh, first is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, Board to consider a proclamation recognizing October as Cybersecurity Month in the Village of Westmont. And next is Board to consider a proclamation to declare October 8th through 14th, 2023 as Fire Prevention Week in the Village of Westmont. We have a community event, 2023 Westmont Trick or Treat Trail, Board to consider an ordinance approving the Westmont Chamber of Commerce hosted trick-or-treat trail event, which includes a community events permit, and secondly, street closures from 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., Cass Avenue from Burlington to Chicago, Naperville, partial closure on Norfolk between Lincoln and Linden from the alley east to the west of Cass Avenue, and partial closure on Irving between Lincoln and Linden from the alley east and west of Cass Avenue. And thirdly, a live amplified sound permit. Last on the consent agenda is a reappointment re to the Board of Fire and Police Commissioners. Board to consider a motion to accept the mayor's reappointment of Stella Qualitza to a third term to serve on the Board of Fire and Police Commission. And that is the consent agenda this evening. Do I have a motion to approve as read? Motion to approve as read. Little? 30 second. Motion remains second. Any questions? I do have to say, Stella wanted to be here. She feels bad about not being here. Um, and uh, I just want to mention that. She really was apologetic, but she didn't really have to be, but she wanted to thank the board. Um, seeing no other questions, roll call, please. Trustee Little? Yes. Trustee Brady? Yes. Trustee Nero? Yes. Trustee Simonovich? Yes. Motion passes. We're going to move on to the arts to page. Um, and I'm going to ask Manager May to please read that resolution now because we do have our regular guest here for the arts. Yes, uh, part of the reason for removing it from the consent agenda and actually there's something, um, uh, you know, close to Trustee Barker as well. But uh, Debbie Benizia. Benezia uh, is with us today from Arts DuPage, and I'll go through the, um, uh, the proclamation for your approval. Proclamation celebrating October as Arts DuPage Month in the Village of Westmont. Whereas the arts, culture, and humanities are the embodiment of all things beautiful and entertaining in the world, the enduring record of human achievement, and whereas the arts, culture and humanities enhance every aspect of life in the village of Westmont, 
improving our economy, enriching our civic life, driving tourism, and exerting a profound positive influence on the education of our children. And whereas the arts promote a better understanding of the diversity, diversified cultures within our communities and unify us regardless of age, race, or ethnicity. And whereas the arts sector in DuPage consists of 2,272 arts related businesses and account for 4.2% of the total number of businesses in the region, a larger share of the economy than transportation, tourism, agriculture, and construction. And whereas the arts provide a full-time employment for over 15,000 workers in DuPage County, and whereas the arts improve our economy, enrich our civic life, drive tourism and commerce, and exert a profound positive influence on the education of our children, and whereas the Village of Westmont has embraced local artists by creating a community arts initiative, which includes new events to showcase and promote artists and their work. And whereas the month of October has been recognized as Arts DuPage Month by Arts DuPage and the arts and cultural organizations in all the communities within DuPage County, therefore, Ronald J. Gunter, Mayor of the Village of West, uh, Westmont, does hereby proclaim October 23rd, October of 2023, as Westmont Arts DuPage Month and call upon all citizens to celebrate and promote the arts and culture in DuPage County. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion oh. to approve, Nero. Second, Little. Motion made and second. Any additional comments? I do have to <coughs> Trustee Barker. If he wasn't visiting, his mother would have been the one to read this. He's very active in this. Um, so roll call, please. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Brady? Yes. Trustee Zamanovich? Yes. Trustee Nero? Yes. Motion passes. Now is an opportunity you can come up and discuss, talk a little bit about that. Can I put down the eyes? I'm Debbie Venezia, Director of Arts DuPage of DuPage Foundation. And I want to thank you, Mira Gunter, for your continued support and also um, members of the Westmont City Council for proclaiming October as Arts DuPage Month. I'd also like to thank the Village of Westmont for embracing the arts. Salt Creek Ballet, Westmont Performing Arts, Westmont Special Events, TLD Designs, The Painted Giraffe, Westmont Public, um, I'm sorry, Westmont Park District, Muddy Waters, all add to your vibrancy and bring attention to your region. Your support sends a positive message to DuPage County's residents and visitors that allows them to recognize the vital role the creative sector pays, um, plays in the area. To give you an example of the arts impact in DuPage County, here are some notes from the Frida Kahlo exhibit at College of DuPage two years ago. In its, three, its short three month run, the Frida exhibit brought over 100,000 people from all 50 states and 43 countries to Glen Ellen, proving DuPage County as a destination for the arts. In those three short months, it infused over $10 million into the local economy. And the exhibit gave us insight into another culture, showed us a different era and time, and helped us heal during the pandemic. This year, Andy Warhol exhibit created the cycle again by drawing visitors from 50 states and 48, or 28 countries and Andy Warhol also united DuPage County as a whole. 29 municipalities celebrated Warhol through their own experiences, including public art pop-up murals, ribbon cuttings, exhibits, concerts, lectures, movies, and other activities. And in some cases, city councils, downtown alliances, libraries, and park district worked together for the first time ever to create events that all could enjoy. So let's hope our Arts DuPage Month celebration inspires our residents. By participating in the arts, they will not only contribute to their own well being, but will also increase economic activity and positively impact the quality of life in the community. So thank you. Well, thank and you. I want to say this is my favorite place to come. Ah, except thank you. <laughs> you know what? We present this, we don't have it in a frame. We'll present this to you and take some pictures. Larry McIntyre representing the committee, but I'd ask the whole f member board to come up because this is an annual event. Get in the picture. 
Oh, four of these going. It means you. I just, think come it's on. It's just trying to rub it in the trusty Barker <laughs> that he's absent. Yeah. It's mine. I know I'm one. We're coming. We're coming. Larry, are you taking pictures? You got to get in. All right, we'll move on to new business. Um, special use permit, 52 East Ogden Avenue for the Sky Zone. Board to consider an ordinance approving a special use permit request by Balsamy Incorporated and SCP Westmont LLC, the owner, regarding the property at 52 East Ogden Avenue to operate an amusement establishment in the B2 General Business District. Deputy Director Hennerfine. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Board. Um, so what's before us tonight is a special use permit for 52 East Ogden Avenue. Um, I think a lot of us know this property better as the old Hobby Lobby property. So it's been vacant since Hobby Lobby moved um, and we're very excited to get it filled. Um, a portion of that property did um, get absorbed by Jewel Osco a few years ago when they had their fulfillment center, but there's still 31,000 square feet that is available. So what's moving in there is what we tr classify as an amusement. And this is uh, Sky, Sky Zone Trampoline Park. So it's a, a business that not only caters to a trampoline park, but I believe they have dodgeball, they have zip lines, they have many other things. They do lots of events for all ages. Um, they have some uh, concessions inside as well. Um, so it will be a, a, an attraction for Westmont. Um, this went before planning and zoning at the September meeting had a unanimous, a unanimous vote um, of recommendation, and the petitioners are here if you have any questions for them directly. Why don't we bring them up before we um, let them Very answer good. some of the questions, if there are any. Certainly, uh, good evening. Um, uh, I'm Jason Sheets, principal architect for uh, Moto4. Um, we're uh, working on the project. Uh, we work on sky zones throughout the country, and um, um, and so I, I said last month I probably have more information, uh, valuable information as a customer than I do as as the architect with four kids. We're there a lot at the at the one in Dayton, Ohio. Is there any more in the Chicagoland area? Is there, uh, I believe there's two or three others. Um, I mean, it's a pretty big radius. Uh, but um, not uh, within 30 minutes uh, of, of this location. And will you have food service or any uh, snack area? Or? Yeah, it ha um, they typically have a concession area. Um, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, it's like going, going to a game kind of thing. Uh, pizza and nachos and chips that sort of thing um, there's no alcohol um, but there's uh, uh, bottled and fountain sodas uh, hours of operation um, plus or minus 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, they they typically obviously children are the predominant uh, customer base uh, and they do a good job of, of separating uh, the younger kids, the toddlers, a certain age from a certain couple hours, and then kind of open, open jump uh, after that. Trustee Little. I just had a quick question. Um, do you have a party room? There are uh, a couple party rooms. Great. I think three in this, in this, in this. And you've location. certainly got enough parking. <laughs> the yeah. park, parking was parking is good. Yes. Great. And how soon are you open so I can stop driving to Elmhurst? <laughs> uh, um, you sound just like the client. Um, uh, I'm I, 
We, we plan to submit for billing permit uh, next week, plus or minus, and then um, should be sometime next week. And then knowing the typical build cycle, um, or assuming there's plan review and, and bidding, and they're looking to start construction uh, by December, should be open by uh, end of March. So I want to be open uh, in the spring to kind of ramp up summers are obviously a higher a lot more use in the summers but uh this should be open march april okay. i'll entertain oh. a motion to approve i'm gonna call oh, go ahead trustee that previous was a uh, hobby lobby right at one time and then the rear section was taken over by osco yes so since you have a front entrance if an entrance and how do you egress? How do you get out of here at a second entrance? It's a great question. I emergency. might put you on payroll and yeah. do some quality checks on it. We were just going over that actually last week. So there is a, there's a couple other uh, uh, exits that are going to be put in. Um, what direction will that be? I mean, in the front end? Uh, uh, there, there's the one, end? Off the, one off the front, yes, the front face. Um, there are. Uh, doors in the back correct uh we have to ex we have to create a rated corridor because the travel distance is so long uh just to make it work but we got it we did get it right. to work yep. when you say back in you'll be back in the uh, into the osco jewel area right yeah one exit is off of the back uh and then there's one on the in the corner in the front i see and, and the main entrance yep. okay and I, P and Z with signage, did you get a chance to see the, or he'll do that when he submits the? Um, during uh, planning and zoning for this special use, we didn't request um, to see the signage at this point, so I don't think that the drawings represented it. Okay. Um, but when it does come in, it would meet code, yeah. um, which is about two square feet per linear yeah. foot of frontage. Got it. it. You need a motion. Did motion to approve, yeah. Little. Second. Right. Most remain second. Second. Any comments? If not, the second. Yeah. I'd ask for a roll call, please. Trustee Little? Yes. Trustee Zimanovich? Yes. Trustee Brady? Yes. Trustee Nero? Yes. Motion. That's it. Motion <laughs> passes. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Moving on to new business B, special use and B1 development permit for 15 North Cass Avenue, board to consider ordinance approving request from the main Lab LLC and proprieties by AAA LLC regarding the property at 15 North Cass Avenue. One, a special use permit for a beauty parlor located on the ground floor in the B1 limited business district. And two, a B1 development permit. And I've got Deputy Director Hennepin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Board. So um, it's a good night tonight. We've got the, our second business that wants to locate in the Westmont and this is actually in the downtown. Um, so this is the main lab who's currently um, located over in Downers Grove is relocating over into Westmont. Um, the space itself, 15 North Cass, for years um, housed Karma Salon. And then for the most part after the pandemic has been vacant, there was a, a masseuse that worked out of the back. I believe uh, Plima Massage you saw a few years ago came through here. That, that um, is expiring. So um, the entire space would be uh, occupied by this new salon. Um, the space was already built out for a salon, so they only need to do cosmetic um, uh, restoration and, and modification on the inside, and then I'm sure we'll see the signage come in as well. Um, this went through planning and zoning last month was, uh, with the other one, and um, uh, there's about 2,000 square feet. Um, if this salon was under 1,000 square feet, we wouldn't bring them through the special use process. Whenever it's larger than 1,000 square feet, we think it's got a little bit larger impact. We do bring them for discussion with planning and zoning and the board. And then um, an added layer when they come to the board is anything in the downtown needs a B1 development permit. And that gives the board the opportunity to look at the use, look at the space, and scrutinize that if you feel that um, a, a service use is looking at a commercial space and may be better served. Um, this space has been vacant for quite some time and is built out as a service use already. 
I do have the petitioners here um, if you want to welcome them, and I am available for any questions you may have. They can come up to the podium and give us some more information. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I'm Brandy. I'm Danielle Rodriguez. Uh, we've been working together for about five years, um, and last year we actually opened a small salon suite in Downers Grove, so we're just super excited to relocate and expand uh, into Westmont. You're relocating it, not a second location, right? Right, correct, okay. correct, yeah. So you have a following at all? Yes. yes. Any other? I, I know. think part of the reason is probably the leadership, and one of them's here from yeah, Downers tonight. That, yeah. They scared them out of their own village to come to Westmont. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. <laughs> and again, what we're seeing is that uh, service industry is what's looking to come into Westmont. You know, we talked about retail, retail, but this is what is bringing people here, and they'll enjoy our restaurants and and other businesses in town. Um, do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve, Little. Second, Nero. Motion made and second. Any additional comments? This one comes. Yes. Are you going to lease the property or did you buy the property? No, we're leasing. Okay. Roll call, please. Trustee Little? Yes. Trustee Brady? Yes. Trustee Samanovich? Yes. Trustee Nero? Yes. Right. We welcome. When you plan on opening, since it's already built out, uh, we still want to do some like painting and a couple of other things. We hope by December first. Good, good. Well, welcome. And Larry Forsberg, I don't know if you've met him, our, our chamber executive yeah. director. We did, yeah. He'll take care of you as far as ribbon cutting and welcoming you. So, congratulations. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. New business C is um, amending the class 10 liquor license description board to consider ordinance approving section 10-36 the classification of license class 10 liquor license include all liquors and i'd ask uh, attorney zeminak to give a little bit more information on that thanks mayor uh this was discussed at your committee meeting previously tonight so i all I'll say is this is a, a simple amendment that allows a, an athletic club who engages in any sort of racket sport to sell all alcoholic liquors. It previously was limited to beer and wine. It previously was limited to like tennis and racquetball and handball. Now it includes pickleball or other racket sports. And that's really the, the gist of the amendment. Yeah. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve, Nero. Second, Little. Any other comments? Roll call, please. Trustee Nero? Yes. Trustee Brady? Yes. Trustee Zamanovich? Yes. Trustee Little? Yes. Motion passes. I'd ask Deputy Liquor Commissioner Mulhern to come up to the podium, and we've got an exciting another new business that's going to be. Third coming. new business tonight. It's new business night. Um, with me here is Jill Livingston and Dorothy Foster. They are the owners of Net Games LLC, which is going to be indoor pickleball. And after meeting them, I've learned more about pickleball than I ever knew before. So they've been teaching me well. Um, they're going to be going into the old Gymnastics Institute, which is right next to the Nanatorium. Um, and uh, they are applying for a liquor license. Um, and so they will be taking advantage of the all liquor uh, change which you just voted for so I will uh, introduce uh, Jill and Dorothy and let them tell you a little bit more you will see them again in probably about a month because it will be back for their liquor license at that time so Jill and Dorothy thank you hi thank you so much I'm Jill Livingston and I'm Dorothy Foster um, and so yes we are in the process of opening this indoor pickleball facility that is going to be at IGI and it's going to be a nine court indoor facility um with a bar hence why we are getting the liquor license and um, various areas of the club for socialization and um, people just to kind of hang out and trying to build um, a community place for people to go to in addition to that i know you had asked about the other facility having a private space we are also going to have a decent sized meeting room um, for anyone to host any type of of event corporate event and we also would love to be hosting fundraisers and various things that we can um, give back to the community but board meetings yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes 
and I do know you've been working on the rent the leasing that building for a while it needs a lot of upgrade to accommodate air conditioning and pickleball and everything so you would be shocked at the at the um, at the progress we made in a week really yes mm -hmm. as far as cleaning it out yes it's finally cleaned out it, yeah <laughs> and when do you expect to be open for pickleball we are hoping to be open by january 15th Good. Good. Mm -hmm. we'll have our own indoor pickleball like a lot of other we'll have to start faster practicing we get up. Our, yeah <laughs> faster we get our permit reviewed mayor the faster we'll get in okay. <laughs> <laughs> you notice he oh he's still here um i thought he slipped away um any other comments we look forward to having an additional new business in town and that empty building will be out of very popular there with the natatorium now awesome. pickleball with tie Warner park it's and very the, active uh, jumping well that's good we're bringing businesses in so welcome and i'm sure you've probably met Mr. Forsberg? We have, yes. we have. And uh, may I say, Mayor, we, everyone that we have encountered in Westmont has been wonderful to us. So yes. we really appreciate the responsiveness, the receptiveness. Uh, it's been great working with all of you. Mm -hmm. And we've worked for years with whose mom? Who's the, uh, all right. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Patty Bellock was our representative for years, who was a friend of Westmont. And, um, welcome yeah so, thank you thank you very, very much. much all right yeah, thank you we'll be seeing them um sometime in the next i will anticipate having it before the board uh by december the liquor uh, just license. in case they get uh you know they progress faster than they achieve um so far so good and we don't anticipate any problems but they wanted to come tonight and i wanted to do some so they had an idea why we did what we did no welcome thank, thank, thank you. you good luck um any miscellaneous we don't need an executive session, so uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made and second. We'd ask for roll call, please. <laughs> <laughs> Trustee Zamanovich. Yes. Trustee Little. Yes. Trustee Nero. Yes. Trustee Brady. Yes. Okay, this, mo this meeting is adjourned. I thank everyone for coming. <laughs>